Hello friends, how are you? I'm here uh, going to friends to uh, have a chit chat with some friends and uh, to help the everything goes fine <laughs> it will um, well today's Wednesday something I don't know the date the thing is 19 or 20 um, I just uh, found out that my jacket my zipper is broken <laughs> I just cannot uh, Oh man, look at the How many deers are there? Six? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. <laughs> yeah, five. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, so I... Um, what is the state of the bike? <laughs> the bike is so... And the guy who uh, used before me didn't take it to the dirt. Didn't do any dirt. But he... Um, always was a comp a company or how do you sell this was with his wife in all the trips he did his wife and three two saddle bags and the top case full and yeah that uh, pretty much will uh, ruin your rear chuck but the rear chuck wasn't ruined actually it was pretty good but then I remember when I went to Guatemala about I think it was six months ago no eight months ago uh, I just uh, went over a uh, a bump a bump like this one here right there see this and uh, I didn't uh, notice anything right away I mean I went when I mean I went <laughs> I passed that thing about going about 100 so at first I didn't notice anything but then, you know, because how I, I, I kind of uh, trying to recollect what uh, happened to this thing. Because, you know, they usually don't break if you don't abuse them. So, uh, after that has passed, that trip, I started hear, he, hearing, uh, listen, I started listening to a noise, a little noise, like click, click. And I thought it was a change, and I changed the change. And, uh, and I thought it was a, a sprocket, but I inspected the sprocket and it wasn't that. 
I thought it was the rear and it wasn't that and uh, so I thought it was the link the bearing nope and then like three months ago the sound became really evident so what the hell is it going to do here so the noise was really evident and I you know uh, something's wrong here so I took it to the specialist and yeah he told me oh it's a, it's a shock so that was the bump beat it and I remember when we went to Cancun from here to Cancun that my friend who has a BMW he went over a bump and he didn't know this uh, well he did he did hear something but uh, didn't not not did not notice anything but we went two days after well we spent two days there and then we started to come back and he kind of saw those uh, chuck basically the rear one but also the front one because there's only one there's only one in, one in front one in the rear uh, a star uh, moist yeah and then like after a month both fail so yeah bumps like this see <laughs> No, actually these are nice because are elongated you know no the one <laughs> I'm talking about is like oh, like if they put two bricks pile into their each other and you know so yeah that's it for the for the chucks and it's a beautiful sunset um, Look at that, beautiful. We're going to take this route here, which is like a shortcut to the place that I'm going. Because this is a, it's, it's, it's not a shortcut, actually. It's, a, it's the longest way to get there, but it is nicer. <laughs> it is it is nicer to ride in this road than on the highway. So. So let's talk about uh, bikes. Um, in my current situation, I cannot buy another one. Maybe later, next year, I don't know. Or maybe later this year. I uh, have already proven me wrong by buying this thing. It's not this a bad bike, actually. It's a, a really nice one, but uh, it's too heavy for me, so um, I need something smaller, you know, 450. But dual sport, not like enduro that I used to have, just like a dual sport. Or I don't, I don't want a road bike yet, you know. Oh, uh, like a, a Harley or that will be coming when I get well I'm I'm really old but <laughs> I mean older I mean when I get like 65 all right older so um, 
Yeah. So I can take the bike and go ar go around with my friend and have a cup of coffee, have a breakfast somewhere, or uh, I don't know, <laughs> one day trip. But uh, this bike is really capable, but it's so crazy heavy and so heavy to lift, you know. Uh, because when when this bike falls, I don't know. Maybe if I put some uh, uh, crash guard or something, I don't know. BMWs are really heavy, but they only uh, go this, you know, like like this, because those big cylinder heads get in the way. <laughs> I only have dropped this bike two times. One in my uh, in my house, and the other day. And the one time in my house, I, I, I did pick it up because it was on a hard surface. But the other day, you know, I was wondering how are you going the hell going to pick that up. You know? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I want something less heavy, man. You know. Huh. I do a lot of exercise, yeah, but uh, for my legs, yeah, I do cycling. I start today doing some weight, because I see that uh, everything is losing their uh, fitness. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, that, that has to do with, with the edge. Look at this. Look at this place here. I don't know if I could live here. is really really steep people don't even see mirrors anymore man no. look at that there i mean it's like incrustated in the in the hill there i mean I hope they have do their job with the construction because we tend to have a lot of earthquake here. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my uh, my my process. That's my mind trying to say that. Uh, this bike is too heavy, but I don't know, actually. If you... Try with like three, four people, that it's not too heavy because <laughs> they will help you pick it up. But <laughs> if you ride alone, by yourself is too heavy. Oh, look at that sight. Nice. <laughs> the, the other day was my fault, actually. I was going too slow. And when you go too slow in the sand, your front tire just, it just go deep into the sand, you know. You have to go, you know, first of all, you have to throw your body back, all the whole, the whole thing, the whole body. And second, you have to go a little faster 
you will uh, fall if you go slow but yeah sometimes you don't remember those things In my country here, everything is working. Uh, it's like there is no uh, pan pandemia, except for um, no, actually, well, except for football. I mean, soccer games. There is a limit. But then everything is open. Everything, I mean, when I say everything, I say weddings, every, everything. Cinemas. Uh, there's no restriction. Only the use of the mask and wash your hand and that's it. Okay, guys, I'm I'm getting here to to the place to eat some tacos. <laughs> Look at that beauty.